In Troy, the family and friends of a murdered pregnant woman will have to wait through the weekend to see if the woman's ex-boyfriend will be convicted of the crime. Jury deliberations wrapped for the weekend in the case of Gabrielle Vega. Kimberly Howard's been following the case for us. She's live outside the Rensselaer County Courthouse. And Kimberly, the jury today asked to take a second look at several key pieces of evidence. Yeah, they sure did, Cody. At this point, the jury has been deliberating for about eight and a half hours over the course of two days. And during that time, they asked the court to read back some testimony from three key witnesses. Now, the first witness is Gabriel Vega's ex-girlfriend, Kimberly Verola, who told the jury he called her the night of Vanessa Milligan's murder. She testified he was out of breath and said that he, quote, did something, but she didn't talk to him because she was still upset after finding out that Milligan was carrying Vega's baby. She also told the jury Vega confessed to her two months later, but she didn't tell police because she says she was scared and she says Vega threatened her. She testified she finally told police about Vega's confession in October of 2014 after the two had a fight. Next, the jury asked to hear the testimony of Teresa Rodford. She's the ex-girlfriend of Vanessa Milligan's father. She spent much of the day with Milligan before she was killed, testifying that Milligan could hardly walk because her feet were so swollen. Remember, Milligan was nine months pregnant at the time. Finally, the jury heard the testimony of Daisy Harmon. She has a child with Milligan's father and lived right upstairs the day of the murder and fire. She told the jury when she last saw Vanessa alive. She also testified when she heard an explosion when she saw two other neighbors run after someone near the scene after the fire started. Now, a lot of this testimony establishes a timeline of just what happened that day. Remember, the jury never got to hear from Gabriel Vega himself, at least not on the stand. So they also asked to review his taped statement that he made to police. They also asked the court to read back the full definition of reasonable doubt. Now, deliberations in this case will continue Tuesday again after the long holiday weekend. We'll, of course, we'll keep it posted as we continue to get updates on this one. For now, though, we're live outside the Rensselaer County Courthouse. Kimberly Howard, CBS 6 News. Happening.